Find dy dx at x equals pi over 4 when y equals 3 sine x cos x plus 2 tan x. Ugh. All right, so this is what I'm looking at, okay? You are product rule. So you would be my u, 3 sine x would be my u, and cos x would be my v. You're just regular old you know, trig identity stuff that I don't have to lose any sleep over, so I'm not going to worry about u. Let me remind myself that the product rule is the ddx of u times v is u prime v plus v prime u. So, when I do this guy, if I called u 3 sine x, then u prime is going to be 3 cos x. V prime is going to be the derivative of cosine, which is negative sine x. So y prime is going to start out by me doing u prime v, so 3 cos x, v, which is cos x again, how nice, uh, plus negative v prime, so negative sine x, u which is 3 cos x. No, it's not. It's 3 sin x. Sorry, kind of snoozed there. That was a close one. Ooh, boy. Ooh, boy. Uh, and then plus 2 times the derivative of tangent is going to be 2 secant squared x. Now I have to plug in pi over 4. Okay, so let, let's clean this up just a little bit. This is what I don't want to do. What I don't want to do if I'm going to plug in pi is make these squares because it throws my brain off. I'm going to keep this as y prime equals 3 cosine x cosine x because in pre-calculus I memorized these guys but with sine and cosine and tangent only. So I'm not going to go crazy trying to do secants and stuff like that. I can, but I won't. Minus 3 sine x sine x, and what I'm going to do is make this plus 2 over cos x cos x, all right? y prime, when I plug in pi over 4, so y prime of pi over 4 is going to be 3 cos pi over 4 cos pi over 4 minus 3 sine pi over 4, sine pi over 4, plus 2 over cos pi over 4, cos pi over 4. Now, if you remember from the unit circle and stuff like that, uh, cos pi over 4 is root 2 over 2. So you're going to be 3 times root 2 over 2 times root 2 over 2 minus, also, this is nice, sine of pi over 4 is also root 2 over 2 times root 2 over 2. Now, why is this good? Because you're thinking, oh, man, I have to multiply all that. No, I don't. 3 times root 2 over 2 times root 2 over 2 minus 3 times root 2 over 2 minus times root 2 over 2 goes away because they're the same exact thing. And we're left over with 2 over uh, root 2 over 2 times root 2 over 2. All right? So 2 over square root of 2 times the square root of 2 is going to be the square root of 4, which is 2, over 2 times 2, which is 4. So I get 2 divided by a half which is the same thing as 2 times 2. And after all of that, you get 4. So isn't that lovely? It sure is. Kind of a weird, crazy problem. But uh, yeah, that does it. And I believe that does it for Unit 2 for my videos. So I uh, hope you're watching all of them and liking and subscribing. Please, I beg you.